Hello, my name is Ashley Sellers. I'm the owner and operator of Speech, Language, and Beyond, and I'm also a speech language pathologist. I'm here to talk to you about a speech and language activity that I have available on my website that is useful for the parents of toddlers or preschoolers um, that are receiving um, speech therapy services um, for any speech therapist that are working in early intervention or a speech therapist that is working with a preschool special education classroom with students that have secondary communication disorders. Um, I think that you will find this product useful and it is called Baby's First Words and it is a developmental booklet that follows the developmental sound chart because between the ages of about one and a half to about three years old, children are most likely producing sounds that contain the P, B, M, N, K, and G sounds. And sometimes K and G doesn't necessarily come in this stage just because they are harder sounds to say, they're made in the back of the mouth, and it's hard to see when you're saying it so the child has a harder time Im imitating. But it does follow the speech developmental chart. Um, so it's included, all of these sounds are included in the booklet. And the way that the booklet is set up is that it shows you in the beginning for every letter that we're going to cover, it has a page like this that gives you the letter or the sound and they name that sound as a way for the child to remember um, excuse me, for the way for the child to remember how the sound is made. So for every letter, this is the first page that you're going to see because we're stressing what the phoneme sounds like and what it's used for. So um, as a side note, before we begin with this page, um, this activity covers early articulation skills, receptive language skills, which is identifying and being able to show that you understand something, expressive language skills, being able to name or label things or use sentences to tell what your wants and needs are, what you know and what you understand. Uh, so those are the three things that are covered in this book. Okay, so let's start with this particular, sorry you guys, let's start with this page. Okay, so the way you're going to introduce the sound for this one, this is the B sound. B sound. And we call the B sound the bouncy sound. And then you're going to go through and you're going to point and say the sound at the same time. B, 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 B. You do it for them first and then you ask them to repeat you when you do it. B, B. And you want to make sure that if you're going to do it this way, it depends on whether or not you have the book attached together. But either way you do it, you want to put the paper or the booklet in a place where they can still see that and also your mouth so they can know how the sound is made. And so you may need to stay on this level with this for as long as you need to in order for them because you may already notice that you know what they're not able to say this sound so you may want to extend the activity by having them to um, continue just saying the sound in isolation a way that you can do this is to apply where it says that it's the bouncy sound to apply it by saying okay it's the bouncy sound and adding a hand movement b b b b like you're bouncing a ball b b b b and get them to repeat it they'll think that it's fun they'll think that it's engaging and it's a way just to teach them how to do this sound b b b b and if you want to extend it any further if you have two balls and they have a ball then you can just go around the room and bounce the ball making the B sound and that's a good way for them to be able to practice it and even if you want to extend it a lot further if you would go to my website and look under the speech therapy tabs page you will find find what I call the mouth menu and it gives them a description of what parts of our mouth that we use to make the sound and that can be really helpful if you feel like that's a level that they need to be able to concentrate on. So once you're done with introducing the sound, showing them how it's made, once you're finished doing that, then you should have another page 
that contains pictures and my pictures have already been cut out so for the B sound you have ball bib bed boy bike B and bath and what you will notice about these sounds they're all one syllable and that's important because you don't want to overwhelm them with two syllable words especially if we already know that they're already having or showing some problems with being able to produce sound and some of those sounds were open syllable sounds meaning that they did not have a consonant sound on the end so that's very close to them saying like a um, a syllable like B is B and long E together and that's a good thing to practice or boy is boy and the diphthong diphthong oi um, so that's very important and then you do have some sounds that are closed syllables that have the consonant sound that is on the end and that's important because between the ages of one and a half to about three years old when children are learning how to speak and they're trying to imitate what they hear adults talk like they um, have what we call phonological processes and they will say a word and break it down but not say it the way that we say it so like if we're saying bring mama the bottle then they may say bada and that's a phonological process or if you say go go get in the bed and they say okay i'm going to go get in the bed that is final consonant deletion because they're leaving um that ending sound off and it doesn't become a problem until they get about five years old and they're continuing with this and then it goes from being a phonological process to being more of an articulation problem so um that's very important so i said all that to say throughout the activity when you're saying the word stress the sounds that are in the word bed let them hear the ending sound b let them see the vowel sound that's a high vowel sound let them see how it's made because it's only going to increase um, their chances of having better articulation skills okay so these are the pictures that you're going to make sure you put the velcro on the back of because you're going to attach it to this page here you have the letter B in the middle and you're going to if you notice on here it has the names of each pictures and so what you're going to do is lay those pictures in front of them with this page in front of them and you're going to start with the receptive language and you're going to say give me the picture of the B and, and during this time you're still making sure you're stressing how that sound is made because this is a good time to provide them with auditory bombardment where they're not required to say anything but they're only required to listen so that they can see how the sound is being made in the word so they will give you the picture of the B and you would take the B and put it in its position on the on this page Okay, just like that and for ins for um, instance if they do not give you the correct picture and you're asking them to identify the B and let's say they gave you bath instead of giving you B then you would say oh well this is bath now let's find B where's the picture of the insect that is yellow and white and makes honey give them a description first to see if that will allow for them to understand what you're talking about and then if they can't get it then you eventually lead them to the correct picture so that way you know what they know and what they don't know and you're able to provide the correction as needed but never give correction that is like no that's wrong you don't want to discourage them when they get it wrong you don't even have to say that's wrong you can just say, oh, well, that is bad, but we want to find the bee, the bug that makes the buzzing sound that will sting you, that likes to land on flowers. That's the kind of correction that you want to give. So they're not feeling discouraged and they're not feeling as if they don't know anything. So that's very important. And then once you have done that with all of them and they've identified the pictures and they've been able to Velcro them to the page, then you're going to go from there and have them name the pictures by taking the pictures off. So then you're going to go and you're going to point to the picture. Let's put the picture of the boy here. 
and let's just assume all the other pictures are on you're going to point to this and say um what is this and they should say boy okay now you have two opportunities to work on two things here first you're working on the expressive if you ask them what this is and they say B instead of boy then you're going to say well this is a boy he had wears glasses he has eyes you know you're going to give those different descriptions not a B not a bug but this is a boy and then you're going to give them repeat what is this and they should say boy and now this also gives you an opportunity to watch their mouth how they're saying the sound so you can see if they're making the b sound correctly by pressing their lips together or are they making that sound by leaving it out and saying oi are they substituting the sound with another sound instead of saying boy they say poi because they do a p sound so that's a good time for you to watch and if it's something that you're concerned about have a notebook that's next to you and write that down because that's in something that's something that's important to know and it's something that you can continue to work on with them and then if they say poi you say that's right boy b b b boy and point to the b that's in the in the uh, middle of the page b b boy and then you go on to the next one and you do that for the rest of them so they're already here you point to it let's just say we put bed here and you say well what is this and they should say bed and then you provide correction if they say that it's the wrong thing you provide correction if they are um, pronouncing the B or any other sound in that word incorrectly that is your time to give it to them indirectly and I think this is going to work so well because it's so hands-on for them they're gonna feel like this is my book I can take the pictures on I can take the pictures off and they can even in their own spare time they can practice it by themselves once they get used to being able to use it okay and then I take it a step further and there's a page in here called what do you know and what this page does is gives them an opportunity to learn either the object function of the pictures that are there or it's for them to learn um, descriptions of the objects that we just talked about so you're going to take those same pictures you can either leave them on this page or you can take them back off again and lay them in front of the children and say number one says if you're not a girl then you are a and you say which one of these and they should either take the picture off or hand you the picture and say boy and you provide correction as necessary and then you say it again so that you make sure that you're putting it in and that's something that they understand that they can remember and know and be able to retrieve and use later the next one you throw bounce or roll a and they should say ball and then you provide correction as necessary the next one you can ride on a so it's extending it so now we're, we're going from them learning how to say the sound learning how to identify it when they see it learning how to name it and then knowing how to talk about it and that's uh most of the things at this age range that children are learning how to do how to identify nouns how to say them they're learning how to say their sounds correctly learning how things work and how they're used and this is a good book to do that so I hope that you really find this activity um, interesting if like again I said if you want to find it you can go to www speechlanguageandbeyond.com click on the speech therapies tab and um, speech therapy sheets tab excuse me and then scroll down to the bottom of the page on the receptive language skills and you will find um, a sample version of this where I think I give you maybe the first two or three letters for free and if you want the entire booklet then it's at a very inexpensive price and if you decide you want to purchase it you'll make that purchase via PayPal and um, you will receive this document via email for you to use and they'll also have a password that you need to use to open it so even if you don't purchase it please get the sample because even that just even that little bit that's in the sample will be enough um, to help 
Um, so I hope that you find it useful. And of course, if you have any questions, if you look in the box below, I think when we give the description for the video, the website will be there where you can find it. My email address if you have any questions. Um, and even if it's at a point, honestly and truly, if you can't afford it and you really want it and you really need it, please email me. And I, I will try my best to be able to send it to you for free. I'm not against it. I really want children to be, really be able to take advantage of this. Okay, so thank you. And please feel free to contact me with any questions and look out for my next video. Thanks.